Hey everybody, friends, people just interested in knowing a little bit more about Tableau. What's bringing you here is probably this idea of publishing workbooks to Tableau server. So I wanted to call out this little uh, blog post before we dive into the video because this has been there for a while and it covers quite a few of the bases for you. So if you watch this video and then you still kind of need some help getting started, check out this uh, article, which is linked in the description of the video. And you'll see all kinds of examples of how we can go about publishing our workbooks. So let's dive into a Tableau environment and get some stuff published. The data source that I'm gonna be using here is a live connection to BigQuery. So I did wanna point out really quickly that if you go into your Tableau server UI, uh, or in this case, I'm on Tableau Online, you can go to my account settings, and then inside my account settings, there's going to be this, uh, this list of data sources and whatnot that you could add credentials for. And because I'm using Google BigQuery in this example, I wanted to point out that if you were going to do the same thing, um, which by the way, you could on the on Google Cloud set up a free tier usage of Google BigQuery, at least at the time of making this video. Um, so if you wanted to test everything end to end, like you see in this video, you would also wanna go into your account settings and make sure that you add a, uh, a OAuth credential for Google BigQuery. Uh, otherwise, this stuff won't work. Now, for other data sources, this isn't going to be something that you necessarily need to do, like uh, for Snowflake, for uh, for SQL Server, for a lot of things, you can just use uh, username and password, uh, never have to worry about something like OAuth. But uh, I did wanna call this out in case there are those people who are trying to do every single thing that you see in this video step by step. All right, so we have this little credential here. It is tied with my email address that, uh, that I'm using for this Tableau Online environment as well. Um, but I believe that this one is actually specific to what I uh, authenticate into Google Cloud with. Um, in any case, we have that set up and then let's just take a look real quick at my uh, landing zone where we're going to be publishing some workbooks to. And uh, this is a project that I have called REST API Practice and in this um, environment, we don't have any of these workbooks that we're gonna be publishing here yet. So as we publish these things, we'll just come back out to this, uh, this project and we'll verify that those things actually were published, that those workbooks were published, and then we'll also verify uh, we're gonna publish one that has embedded credentials, and we're also going to publish one that does not have embedded credentials, and we'll verify that that data source is actually reflecting those settings that we said. So yes, have embedded credentials or no, do not. So with that um, all kind of laid out there, let's hop into some code. And we, in a previous video, uh, touched on how you could publish workbooks that connected to a data source that was already published to Tableau server. And then this video is going a little bit more advanced. Um, uh, debatable, but I would say that this is a little bit more advanced because now we're actually touching on embedding credentials. So um, if you are connecting to a Tableau data source that's already published, you might wanna check out the other video uh, that is also linked in the description. But in this case, we are just going to publish a workbook that's connecting to Google BigQuery Live. And then we're also going to publish that, uh, that same workbook, but with the embedded credentials. All right, so the file we're going to publish is actually conveniently here in this uh, in this directory that I'm working in. So our file paths that we're gonna be working with are gonna be super simple. Do keep in mind that if your file lives somewhere else, then uh, in some of these examples, you'll need to point to where your file is. So my file is right here in this directory I'm working in, so it's really simple. Uh, do keep that in mind. So over here, we are uh, importing our Tableau server connection from Tableau API lib. This is the library we're using in all of these tutorials. And we're also importing some querying functions so that we can get some need to know info such as, hey, I wanna publish to this project. What is that project's ID? We need this kind of information when we're publishing stuff using the REST API. 
And then all of this stuff down here, I'm, uh, I'm really lifting up the hood so you can see the credentials I'm using to log into my server. Um, these secrets aren't really something you typically want to be sprinkling around on the internet, but um, nice thing about these personal access tokens is I'm just going to delete these after this tutorial is recorded and they will not exist anymore. Um, now, if you don't want to use personal access tokens, you can use username and password. And if you want to know more about how to configure your connection, then check out another video that's linked in the description. It's called Getting Started with Tableau API Lib. And for now, I'll just leave it at, we have our configuration stuff defined here. And uh, it's nice to know that you could define multiple environments. And then you, when you build a connection, in this case, I'm going to be specifying hey, the Tableau Online one is the one that I want to connect to right now. So that's what we do down here. We initialize uh, a, an instance of this Tableau server connection and we pass in our configuration information and then we sign in. And so now we have a connection to Tableau server or to, in this case, Tableau Online. So real quick, I'm going to run these cells because I don't want to get ahead of myself and then get some errors later because I didn't actually run these cells. So we're going to use this querying section of the library to get some information about our projects. And the reason we do this is if you are implementing this in your own environment, uh, you're not just publishing stuff randomly into the, uh, the ether, you know, you have a project you need to publish your content to. So we need to know what that project is. And uh, here's the project I want to publish to, that REST API practice. In fact, if we come out here, we can see this is the project I'm sitting in right now. So uh, we could just get that ID value. And in this case, I do it in this little fancy way. Um, so that for some reason, my project ID did change, which I mean, it's not going to. Uh, I guess I just wanted to be fancy, you know? So I, um, I just did this. We grab the, um, the project ID that satisfies this condition. That is this project ID. In fact, if you compare that up here, you can see it's the same. Okay, so now we have our project that we're going to publish to. What do we do next? So we are going to just call on that, uh, that connection that we have established with Tableau Online, and we're going to say, can you publish this workbook for me? Now there is some required information whenever you publish. We can see that here. Any of these parameters not flagged as optional are required. And so you would at a bare minimum need to have a workbook file path that points to a workbook in your local environment that you want to publish. You would need to give a workbook name. So this is what you want this thing to be called on the Tableau server or the Tableau online environment. And then you're going to have your project ID. This is the, um, the local unique identifier for your, uh, for your project. So, you know, workbooks have, have local unique identifiers, um, views have them, projects have them. This is a very common thing when you're working with the REST API. And that's why we called on this guy up here, the get projects data frame, so that we could easily figure out that project that we want to publish to, what is its ID? All right, so we have that figured out. Um, so down here, I'm just gonna say, hey, here's the name of the workbook, uh, or sorry, the file path. And again, if you had some, you know, some kind of chain here, you'd be like, you know, directory one slash directory two slash connects to live DB dot TWB. This is your file path to that file. Um, and here it's just sitting in this same uh, working directory that I'm in. So I'm all good. And then what do I want this thing to be called on Tableau online? So I'm gonna call this one credentials not embedded so that we can easily track oh, which one of these workbooks has the credentials embedded or not. Uh, now I'm also passing in OAuth equals true, this OAuth flag. That's because I'm using Google BigQuery and the way that I actually authenticate with the Google APIs is through OAuth. So I need to, uh, if I want to use OAuth, I need to set this flag to true. Uh, by the way, there are some other optional flags like um, hide view flag, uh, even somewhere in here, show tabs flag. So all this stuff, these are just options that are documented on the Tableau REST API reference. So if you want to know more about what's happening here, um, this library is just implementing the REST API endpoint that Tableau 
provides us. So you could just go out to the REST API reference, look up the publish workbook endpoint, and you could figure out what are all these different pieces of information that I can supply. Uh, now, we also set a server address. In this case, for BigQuery, everyone would put in this. Like this isn't gonna change depending on which account you have, but this will look different if you're on different databases. So like if you're using Snowflake, then you're gonna have a different kind of link here. Uh, you might even have an actual server address if you're connecting to something like SQL Server or, uh, or Redshift. So um, this is gonna be very specific to the database you're connecting to. If you are using BigQuery, just feel free to use the same server address here. And then your connection username. In my case, this is what I have set up out here. That is the, the email address associated with this OAuth verification. So I'm just going to run this at this point and we can, uh, since we're saying response equals this publish workbook method that we call on, we have stored the, the response in this variable called response. We can see we get a, a code 201, which if we looked out at the Tableau server REST API reference, we'd see this means that it was successful. And because it's successful, we could actually look at what information was passed back to us from Tableau Online when we published this. So we can see that, uh, that this workbook has some views. What are those, uh, those view IDs and names? Uh, we also have the ID of the workbook that we just published, and we have some other information as well. So that's fine. Let's also publish a version of this workbook that's going to have an extra flag added in here, embed credentials. So this is one that by default is set to false, and we're going to set that to true, and then we'll see how this uh, credentials are embedded workbook is different than its brother that we just published up here. So let's go ahead and run this and uh, let's check out the response, check out that response body. All right, so everything looks like it worked for us. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign out because that's never a bad idea. You know, you, uh, you're you done with all your business, you can sign out. And let's uh, go out to my environment and refresh this window where we're sitting in REST API practice. Here we can see two new workbooks just popped in and let's see for credentials are embedded. Let's open this one up. Uh, we could even just look at the view real quick, make sure that it's actually connecting to that data like it's supposed to. And indeed we are seeing this crypto prices by time, which is what the, uh, the response tells us is the view that was published. So this says that we only have one view that's published, crypto prices by time, and we can see here that's what we have to interact with. Um, okay, but what about the, uh, the embedded versus not embedded? So really quickly here, I want to actually go back into this project and I'm going to open up both of these uh, workbooks. And then under uh, credentials are embedded, let's go over to data sources and let's see about this connection here. Okay, so we see that this is embedded. Um, now if we go over to this other version of the workbook, credentials not embedded, we go to data sources and we inspect that connection, we can see that it's not embedded. So here we have this no authentication. Uh, they even give us a little hint here, you want to embed your credentials if you're going to be running uh, extracts. Now in this case, I'm using OAuth and I have a live connection, so uh, it's not really as necessary, but uh, forget about that I'm using BigQuery. You know, Think about the data source that you're using, and um, if you're doing extracts, you probably want to embed your credentials. So in any case, uh, here we go, credentials are embedded. We can just see one more time, embedded credentials on this other version, not embedded. So that is how this kind of uh, this step into more advanced publishing works. Uh, hopefully that's not really anything too tricky. Uh, I'm, I'm using OAuth, so I set my OAuth flag to true. I'm embedding my credentials, so I set the embed credentials flag to true, and everything else is just the same. Um, and in this case, I don't pass a password in because I was using OAuth, but if you were to, uh, to have a kind of username and password setup, you could also pass in a connection password. 
Additionally, if your data source requires a port, so if you're connecting to uh, like SQL Server, then you probably need to pass in a port, uh, whatever that port number is. So with that, let's uh, let's just wrap this up. Uh, we'll be covering some even more advanced uh, applications of publishing workbooks down the road. Uh, you know, now we've covered these kind of one-dimensional topics where one is connecting to a data source that's published to Tableau Server. Another one is uh, is connecting to a data source that's uh, out in Google BigQuery. But in reality, a lot of times workbooks are connecting to multiple varieties of data sources. You might have extracts, live connections, all living in the same workbook. So we're going to get into that kind of messy territory and see how you can tackle that as well. So that's coming up in future videos. And for now, I hope that you found this useful and hope that you tune in next time.